Hey guys, it's Jordan from Blackbox My Car, and today I'm going to be showing you the different ways of installing a Cellink Neo battery pack. The Neo is a great alternative to traditional hardwiring kits as they completely bypass your vehicle's battery and can power your dash cam for a much longer period of time. You'll notice that there is a switch on the side of the Neo that gives you the option to choose between low, off, and high. When set at low, the Neo will draw at 5 amps. This setting will be for when you power the Neo with a cigarette socket in your car or when you're charging it with a power inverter at home. When set at high, the Neo will draw at 9 amps. This setting is only for use when you have the Neo hardwired to your vehicle's fuse box. The easiest way to install a Neo would be to power it with your vehicle's cigarette socket and simply place the Neo under a seat. Use the supplied Velcro strips to securely attach the Neo to your vehicle's carpet and you're good to go. With this setup, the Neo will take 1 hour and 20 minutes to reach full charge. However, what we recommend would be to hardwire the Neo directly to your vehicle's fuse box. Fuses that can be used will vary from car to car, so you will need to test your fuses using a circuit tester. These circuit testers need to be grounded first and work by lighting up if you poke them in the openings on the fuses. Fuses that cause the tester to light up when the car is on and continue to light up when the car is off are considered constant fuses while fuses that light up only when the car is turned on are ACC or accessory fuses. The first wire that we're going to be looking at is the grounding wire. The grounding wire is the black wire with a circular metal ring protruding from it and exists to mediate the voltage from going to the units. The grounding wire needs to be hooked up to a grounding bolt just like this one. You can do that by unscrewing the bolt and placing the ring from the wire onto the screw in between the bolt and the frame. With the ring set, tighten the screw so that the ground will not wiggle loose while driving. The second wire is the ACC wire. As mentioned earlier, this wire needs to be placed in a fuse that is off when the vehicle is off. We suggest using an Adifuse kit to plug the wire into your fuse box as the cell link has fairly thick wires that we don't recommend wrapping around a fuse leg and plugging back in. Make sure the fuse that you select is rated at 15 amps or higher. Before closing off your fuse box cover, test the Neo by turning on and turning off your vehicle. The Neo will beep whenever it begins to charge and stops charging. If your dash cam uses a 3-wire hardwiring kit like Thinkware, Blaxis, or iRoad, the camera should also automatically enter and exit parking mode when you are turning on and turning off your vehicle. If everything looks good, you can close off the fuse box cover and tuck away any excess wire. If you are adding a Cellink Neo extended battery pack, simply plug the two together and you're good to go. Be sure to change the milliamp reading in your app from 6000 to 12000 so that the battery level readings will be accurate. Use the included Velcro strips to securely attach your Cellink Neo to your vehicle's carpet. And now you're done. If you have any questions about the Cellink Neo or its installation process, feel free to reach out to us over the phone, email, or live chat.